Oh, hi everybody. Um, we're back for video number three in the Compose Yourself Songwriting series. And today I want to talk about uh, the rhythm lesson, which is the PDF that, which is contained in the PDF that you can get from American Songwriter by writing to info at americansongwriter.com um, and requesting uh, the first lesson from this series in the subject line of your email. It's free, of course. Um, let me get this out of the way. The R is for rhythm. Now, I, w I realize that I'm speaking to an audience that includes some professional musicians as well as some relative beginners at the whole business of uh, songwriting, music theory, and all. There's a, for some people, there'll be a bewildering amount of information, and for other people, this lesson in particular may seem too simple. I know that's how I reacted to it when um, I received pretty much the same um, uh, instruction from Jeff Raskin, as I've described extensively in the uh, book. And uh, it wasn't until I actually started to do it that I realized that there was a method to Jeff's madness and it, that it can be extremely beneficial to you. Now, um, so for those of you who think it's too easy, I, I want to say that in, in about 15 years of teaching this material, I've only run across one student who was able to um, easily uh, pass the exam at the end of the lesson. And I'll describe that exam in a, another video. And uh, Devin, if you're out there, uh, he, he was amazing because he was so uh, much better than any other student I've had at uh, making up rhythms uh, in his imagination as he went along improvising. And the goal of this lesson is to get you to the point where you can improvise at least a two-measure rhythm of some sophistication and then <clears throat> answer it with another two-measure rhythm or repeat it exactly after having first laid it out in your first two measures. And this is enough of a foundation actually for a whole career in music as one of my instructors that I mentioned in the book, uh, Bill Curdial, jazz guitarist, um, an amazing guitar player, uh, one time I was listening to him reel out endless melody from his uh, guitar. Uh, I thought at, at first I thought it was something he had learned by rote, but it was actually what he was improvising. And um, that absolutely floored me that he could make up music like that. So I asked him, well, how far ahead do you think, since it all seemed to come off one uh, canvas? Um, it seemed to all fit together so perfectly. And he said, uh, oh, one or two measures, two measures at most. So I've set two measures as a goal for your rhythmic uh, ability, your capability, even though we, we will try four measures um, in this lesson, uh, because most pop songs are made up of um, a series of two measure sections. Let me review the vocabulary. I'm going, I'm going to call, for the purposes of this lesson, a one-measure rhythm a motive, a two-measure rhythm a section, a four-measure rhythm a phrase, and an eight-measure question-and-answer kind of rhythm uh, a period. Strictly speaking, these definitions are not what you will find in the theory books, but they're pretty close. So we have motive, one measure, section, two measures, phrase, four measures, and period, eight measures. 